So we're at the Pennsylvania mine, which is a historic silver mine. Began mining in the late 1800s and mined on up through the 1940s, but the majority of mining took place prior to 1900. The reason that we're here as an agency and, and working with the EPA and, and the other agencies on site is that this site has been on the collective radar as one of the largest man-made contributions into Peru Creek for metals. Those metals primarily being zinc, cadmium, and also contributing to low pH within the creek and making it unsustainable for fish life. The progress on the site had stalled out. The site really sat without any cleanup activity for 10 to 15 years. A local stakeholders group, the Snake River Task Force, formed and brought together stakeholders, government agencies, to begin to look into ways to address the Pennsylvania mine site, recognizing that it was the biggest contribution to the creek in terms of metals. Two years ago, we came up with a project to actually put in the culvert that's behind us and do a large excavation, open up the mine working so that we have access underground and can try and understand what was hidden from us in the past, which is what's the underground plumbing at this mine site and how can we reduce what's coming out the mine portal in terms of metals load to the creek. We came up with doing a two bulkhead scenario where we bulkhead each one of those discrete inflows, thereby backing water up in the hillside and reducing the amount of discharge on a long-term basis by allowing that water to bleed back into the natural groundwater system, eventually discharging to the creek in a less contaminated state and then also instead of having one isolated point source in the creek, which is difficult to naturally mediate, you've got more of a natural system where groundwater that infiltrates upstream just makes its way down to the creek like it used to prior to mining. And then we also have the advantage of being able to prevent blowout events, because with a concrete bulkhead installed inside, we're able to back water up behind there so we don't have these surge events that happened in the past, and so those downstream fish kills should become a, a thing of the past. The EPA has been a great assistance throughout this project. Through time, they've been involved in both the studies of the project, identifying what the potential solutions are, and then more recently, utilizing the removal program to implement some, some real solutions. The Snake River goes through Keystone, which is an international resort, that we'd very much like to be able to maintain a fishable stream through there. And the projects that we're now undertaking should improve the water quality to the point where it someday we'll have a reproducing trout fishery in that stream. EPA has taken the lead in overseeing the site work that's taking place, surface work, infrastructure work, and then also recognizing that EPA has the capacity to bring some regulatory authority to the site and provide some protection for the rest of the partners that want to participate. And have really worked very collaboratively and, and in conjunction to achieve a long-term solution for the site. And then also that's allowed other partners to step up. 